Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Storyblocks Video. If you ever need for stock videos, after effects, or motion background, then Storyblocks Video is the best option for you. As a content creator, many times you have to use stock videos for your projects. And it can cost you more than your entire budget. But, with Storyblocks Video, get studio quality stock, for a fraction of the cost. All content on the Storyblocks video is royalty free, so you can use it for commercial, and personal projects. Go to the link in the description, to get all the stock videos you can imagine. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Countdown Timer. As always, I am using the 1920, by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second because we are creating a 10 second timer. So I am going to use the duration of 11 seconds. Now go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Now select the move tool, and align your text into the center. One thing to remember, your paragraph text should be aligned to the center as well so that you don't have to align your changed text into the center every time. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. I am using a font size of 390 pixels. And every other text setting is left default. Now create a new solid layer. And we will call it Saber 10. Make sure to change the color to black. And then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Saber plugin. This is a free plugin created by, one and only, videocopilot.net. You can download it from the link in the description. Apply it on the layer. And let's adjust a few settings. First, expand this customize core. And change core type to the text layer. And from this text layer option, choose the text layer we just created. Now the text should look like this. If you click on the presets, you will find a bunch of pre-made presets here. You can choose anyone, but for this tutorial, I am going to select the replicant. Also, I am going to change the glow color of it. And keeping this greenish type of color. You are free to choose anything you want. Let's make it more visible. Open this distortion, and then glow distortion. Here, change distortion type to energy. Also, change the distortion amount value to 50. Ramp preview this, and see if you like it. Cool. One thing you must be wondering, how to make this thing transparent. You can do it simply. Let's minimize this distortion to get some room. Now open render settings, scroll down to the bottom, and choose the composite setting to transparent. It will make the effect transparent, or without background. You can confirm it by clicking on this transparency grid icon. Hide this text layer, to make the effect completely transparent. Let's make the transparency grid off. And now we are moving to the next step. Select both layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it 10, and then hit OK. Now I am creating the countdown. Let's go to the project window first, and here you can create the countdown, by adding an expression on the text, but I found the Sabbath plugin is not working with it, so I am doing it manually. This is an easy step, I think much easier than adding an expression, but it can take a while. Simply go to the 1 second position. Make sure it is 1 second, not a frame less, or more. You can go to the frame by frame, 
by pressing the control plus arrow key on your keyboard. Here is the important part. Go to the project window, and select this comp. Now go to the edit, and then click on the duplicate. Grab it, and place it onto the timeline. Let's call it 09. And then press the square bracket key on your keyboard, to place it at one second position. This starting position depends on the position of this play header. Let's change the number of this layer. Simply, double click on it to open this comp layer, and then double click on this text layer, to enable the editing. Now change the number to 9, switch back to the main timeline, and here you will see the numbers are overlapping. Luckily we have a quick solution for it. Again go to the first second position, then select this bottom layer, and press Ctrl plus Shift D, to split this layer. Select this part, and delete it. We just trimmed out the layer, for making it one second longer only. Let's move to the two seconds position. And again go to the project window, and make a duplicate of it. Place it onto the timeline, and use the square bracket key, to set the starting position at 2 seconds. Let's trim out this 9 number layer. And delete the rest part. Again open this top layer, and change the number to 8. Switch back to the main comp, and we just created a countdown from 10 to 8. Cool. Let's make the complete countdown, from 10 to 1. I am fast forwarding this part, so that I can save your time. In case you have any questions, you can leave them into the comment section below. One thing to remember, always rename the layer in the project window, so that you won't be confused by the different layer names, in the timeline and the project window. I forgot it, but you should remember it. Cool. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Yeah.